He got into the game early with his tackling and also showed his ball handling ability around the field. Same again for England, which is no real surprise. Expect heavy pressure to be put on the back three of Stimson, Slighthove and Underwood. The front five unchanged the fifth consecutive time, must impose their formidable presence on the game. And your commentators at Lansdowne Road, Stuart Barnes and Miles Harrison. Both sides then on a high after victories and the last round of matches. The conditions perfect. It's more like Paris in the spring than Dublin in the winter. Hardly a breath of wind for this Irish permanent international. And it's Eric Elwood who will start the match for Ireland. So important the start to the game. Who will settle first? Elwood. Good height on that start. He'll be pleased with that. Gummersall waits, though, for England. One for Slight home to chase, and also de Glanville through the middle. Jim Staples, the island skipper, leading his country for the sixth time today. Hogan. It was out to Wallace, an unlikely position for Wallace early in the match, but England had fringe round offside. Yes, I think Eric Elwood now will drive it down the touchline. Expect to see Elwood kick a lot today. It's going to be vital for Ireland that Elwood plays a big tactical game. A great kick-off. He's a really good set-piece man. He needs to get well out of hand. And that's a good start for Elwood and the Irish. Metre line and over now as Johnson takes it on. Johnson of Leicester. Gummersall. They come short side. Delalio, loose pass. Tackle was good. I think it was Hogan, you know, on Delalio. Little scrum half gets through an awful lot of work for Ireland. England get the put in, but this is the latest fight to break out. Yeah, there's a real edge in this one, and the touch judge has seen something. There's a lot going on. Elwood, 11 points against Wales in Cardiff, helping Ireland to victory. All 15 Ireland points against France. Looking now to get Ireland on their way against England this afternoon. Elwood, oh, I didn't strike it well at all. That's a poor one from Elwood. We know it's Eric Miller. The crowd right behind the home team now. Hogan, Roundtree was round on the wrong side. Referee lets it go, Johns. Back to Hogan again. It's Hogan for the line, needed support. And it was certainly there quickly. Penalty to Ireland. And a desperate... Second attempt from Eric Elwood. Straight through the middle. Ireland three. England nil. England with a drive. Gummersall waits. Ireland leading by three points to nil. That Eric Elwood penalty. Taken on by Rob Bell. Set back. Ireland go through and through offside. chance for England to level it now it's interesting to see Rodber taking on quite a lot from the base of the scrum Grayson never in doubt Ireland three England three and here's an interesting decision it's quite a long way out but as you said earlier Miles perfect kicking conditions just a question of whether he looks for the line out but I think he'll probably be looking for goal He's got the distance, he's got the direction, Ireland 6, England 3, 18 minutes gone. And I'll tell you what, that's a lovely kick by Elwood, but there was a grimace there. He's not right, you can see that heavily bandaged right knee. I will be surprised to see Eric Elwood make 80 minutes. It's another one of these high balls, certainly this tactic being used early on by both sides. Jim Staples, a la Tim Simpson with a super catch. Hogan, a little bit tight for Morris Field, but he gave it a good old whack. Hasn't found touch though. Tony Underwood away from one and two. Underwood screaming for the line. Fantastic run from Tony Underwood. Now it's Gummersall. Takes an age to get to Delalio, but De Glanville has it. He's got Robber outside and also Slight Home. Slight Home is going to score. England have the first try, and John Slighthome, who scored against Ireland last season at Twickenham, has now scored here in Dublin. 
And what a good finish by the Bath right wing. Stood his man up and outside him. And it all came from the other wing. Tony Underwood left Hickey for dead. Great pace from the Newcastle wing. England in very quickly. It's not a good pass from Andy Gomesall, but the damage is done. Delalio does very well with that wide pass. And from here on, it's a three on two. And there steps his man. And that is a very fine finish. Leaves top in for dead. Good play by Delalio. A missed pass to Glanville. Not certain, a bit indecisive. Slight home, he makes that with a quality finish. Well, maybe a little indecisive. Maybe uh, you could argue that de Glanville was picking his moment. Anyway, as you say, Stuart, superb finish from Slight Home. Grayson tries to add the two points and fails. Yeah, for Gummersel to try and exploit. Elwood went a little high. Gummersel. And Roundtree keeps it tight. Now, Grayson. Game coming short side, not looking to move it along the line. It's the kick meant for slight home. And the penalty has been given for the late tackle on Grayson. You can make Foley and Ireland pay by administering three more points for England. Trying to bring it round, he has. He will make Ireland pay, certainly from that range. Ireland six, England 11. And here's another blow for them. Eric Elwood can't carry on. And David Humphreys on for his fifth cap. Well, the ball almost coming out of the scrum there, but Robert controlled it again. And Gumbersall going. He's got Stimson with him. Simon Shaw tried to get there. Gumbersall, Regan. That's the Irish 22, and this is Grayson onto Rodber. The Northampton teammates combining. Great position for England. They've got options both ways, and Gummersall chooses the central route. It's Johnson. Gummersall back to his feet as England go looking for their second try, and there's men out wide. It's Grayson back inside to De Glamble. When you felt that the best option was to move it along the line, or like they did against Scotland two weeks ago, and power on from there and really start to open up. Ireland's first concern will be the first score of this second half to encourage the crowd that they have the self-belief to go on. And David Corkery throwing the ball away in disgust there. The turnover given to England is just what Ireland didn't need. And we can see Underwood coming onto the blind side. Expect to see Lawrence Delalio charging short off Gomesall into the midfield. Interesting there, Hickey went into the scrum to cover as Underwood's opposite man. Corkery stood off. This is Hill. Johnson. Good pace from England at the start of this second half, but unable to control, and Corkery was alive to that. Well played, David Corkery. England have got a penalty, though, as Ireland failed to stay on their feet. Fly half with such an impressive kicking record for his country. Lovely, lazy strike from Paul Grayson. Ireland six, England 14 at the start of this second half. It could be 10 minutes or so from now, it's going to be swing low rather than Molly Malone. Ireland must strike back and quickly. Nothing given away to the opposition. Paul Grayson probing staples looking to run floated pass finds hickey bell given to the glamble trouble here for ireland richard hill referees called them back for a forward pass and just for one moment england thought they had a four on two well they did to staples little chip is for hickey awkward bouncer underwood did well under pressure He's taking it over his own line and he's coming away as Tony Underwood and looking for support and getting it from Hill and England have a chance with Shaw. My goodness me, that was brave defence from England. Tony Underwood. And Grayson with the kick to follow and all of a sudden Ireland defending when they were on the point of scoring a try. 
and that was a very great confidence and superb acceleration. Hogan, Hickey, and Underwood there with a good tackle to his fine run. Another bad decision from Hogan, I'm afraid, there. Fence. It's number six from Ireland, and that is David Corkery. Penalty to England. It was after the whistle had been blown. Well, he has looked so confident today, kicking Grayson. Can he keep the rhythm going? It's going to be close. Off the woodwork and over. Well, they don't come much closer than that. And England move on to 17. Ireland 6. 10 away. Good work from the fly half. Slyco missed it. Back goes Gubbersall. And he's lost it now. Ireland at their rampant best here. Over the England 10 metre line and still going with Nesdale. Good work from Ireland. Hogan, Humphreys, Bell, Staples doing manfully to keep it going despite his injury. This is Jonathan Bell, half held by Grayson. Hickey went with him, but Richard Hill had got across. Credit to the open side. That's a super piece of covering from Hill, although Ireland get the put in. Well, Richard Hill saved the day there. His serve is good to Grayson. It was tight, but he got it away comfortably in the end. The line was begging for him to cross it. It was a marvellous moment, almost, for Dennis Hickey. Well, that lifted the Lansdowne Road crowd there. on it from Ireland, but it's England ball again as Roundtree gives it to Gummersall, Delalio just a whiff there of a forward pass, but it's Grayson on to Carling, now it's Stipson, and Stipson carving his way towards that line another case of almost there but the pressure will stay on Ireland as England will put into this scrum just metres short well, much quicker ball there, and that's a lovely pass from Carling off that much criticised left hand. Stimson hit it flat, and Ireland desperate defence over the top. They hadn't the feel England would have scored. But from this situation, England must score. A score now could seal it for England. Gubbersall sniping and through. The door was wide open, and Andy Gubbersall has scored his fourth try for England in as many matches. And that is almost that for England now, 22-6. It's a long, long way back for Ireland. Yeah, Ireland now out of this game. Rock-solid scrum. Corkery a yard off. He's just too slow. And Gomez all the beneficiary. And that's from the new rule. They stay bound, so they couldn't get the extra man there. You wonder whether there should have been a full-back in that position. Ireland outnumbered. Corkery having to stay down, and Gomez has good acceleration. The result was a simple try for him. There should have been a second back in the hole into which he ran. Fifteen minutes left as Grayson adds the conversion. Ireland six, England 24. And it could be a torrid last 15 now for Ireland. Here's the point, Miles. Just what Grayson... Another one of those energy-sapping kicks which makes Ireland turn and go back and think of something desperate as Staples finds topping. Good play by Staples again there. In adversity, playing really well. Humphreys, now there's a chance. Bell, Staples, on to Corkery. Carling got in, but Bell kept it alive beautifully. Hickey can't leave Underwood, though. Good tackle from Tony Underwood. What great play from Ireland there. Pinned in their corner on the left-hand side. Staples instigated it. He joined in again. Here's a test for O'Mara. Humphreys. Working the space to get onto his left boot. But just finding Stimson. And now it's Tony Underwood. And he's got Carling outside him. 
No way past Hickey, and in the end, no support for Underwood. As he ran away from his colleagues, this is O'Mara, Humphreys, Staples, Ireland throwing caution to the win here, and you can't blame them. Delalio nails top in there. Just seem to be running into trouble, Islanders. England wrestle forward, Gubbersall already got one try. So dangerous from short range. De Glanville steps in to play at scrum half, finds De Lallio, and now it's slight home. He's got his second. England power on. Ireland being forced to play catch-up rugby, paying the price now. Great for, and from there on, Ireland looking very bedraggled. Richard Hill, De Lallio, lovely ball there, and slight home once again proving what a potent try score he is in international rugby. Grayson, well, that's not one of his better ones. Winning his first cap, Andy Gummersall had his injury problems this week, shoulder and ankle injuries, so he's rested towards the end of the game. Grayson, Hickey and Staples, Look a little tired as they go back and try and lift the troops, here goes Hickey, caught by Carling, they're continually running into trouble now Ireland, they've lost all pattern to their play, they're trailing 29-6, England ball, Healy, Grayson, Rodber, Regan popping up on the left wing, he won't mind that, Healy again, this is Austin Healy, and it's Richard Hill! Great moment for Richard Hill, his first international try. And England are up to 34. Well, I think the point's slightly flattering because Ireland, as you say, being forced to run. But this is superb finishing by England. Regan out wide, good retention and the threat of Austin Healy there for Aldersley. Great pace, and look at the line of Richard Hill there. Short and straight on his shoulder. Superb finish from the Saracens' flanker. Well, that put the mockers on it, didn't it? That was the kick of a man who's thinking about Saturday night on town. England will deserve a couple of beers tonight. Robber with the instruction. Regan with the throw. Johnson. Rodber, Shaw, brushes off McBride and keeps going Simon Shaw. Unfair challenge, really. Six foot nine of Simon Shaw. Healy. Rodber. England. Great fitness, great strength towards the end of the game. Just like at Twickenham against Scotland, Delalio picked it up, Grayson. It's Guskett. Lovely little show of the ball. In comes Tony Underwood. Tony Underwood is going to score. Well, well, well. It's all England. He spent a season on the bench, but class remains. Guscott comes off, off the wooden slat, and he makes a try. And great play by Underwood as well. Grayson flowing. Now look at Guscott. Checks his man. The half break. And Tony Underwood off his left wing. Great work rate. Great power. Two slide home. I'm having one. That is a superb try for England. Grayson likes it. Oh, so he should. It's just a question now as to whether Colin Hawke will put Ireland out of their misery. But England want to stay out there. Guscott already made one telling break. De Glanville did well. Hill, Stimson, they all want to touch. Underwood, that worked. Shaw, rampaging on, up over halfway. Healy, Regan, they look as if they're on the training ground. They're totally relaxed. Grayson throws the long pass to Glanville. The bouncers are working for England as Delalio finds Stimson to slight home. 
They're swarming all over Ireland. It hasn't gone forward. Healy on to Guskin. Tony Underwood. That is a remarkable try. Savour that one because you won't see many like that. Well, we've waited a long time for England to play like this. And they really are. The fans are loving it. Some superb rugby. Underwood again, where a right wing should be, where all wings should be all over the park. Superb play. Delalio, another big game. Stimson and Slight home. Good awareness. Just look at the continuity. Delalio, a lovely ball over to Healy. Gus got to Underwood. True class from England. And total respect from the island supporters. They appreciated that try. The referee's whistle goes for the end of the match. Lansdowne Road for a day belongs to England. They've scored six tries. They've waltzed away from Ireland. And they've scored their second win in this year's Five Nations Championship. Ireland six, England 